Hey guys, all right, real fast before this Linux crap actually crashes. It, it's the VirtualBox. Um, yeah, VirtualBox, it, it hates anything that you put into it. Um, okay, so uh, previously, uh, if you ran the code, uh, right now Codeberg is down, and I think Microsoft is attacking Codeberg. This is a reason why I got away from GitHub in the first place is because Microsoft is very predatory. And don't think that this is a tinfoil hat thing. Microsoft is well known for these shenanigans. So yeah, I wouldn't put it past them for trying to crash Codeberg. So I can't upload the code. But this video is just so that I can show you that it is working. Now, um, if you were to look at, let's see here, there's the main right there. I'm using the same color that I do for the Windows version, and I'm using the same everything here for the Windows version. Well, I'm doing it for the, the same thing on the Windows, on the Linux version. I just can't upload the code yet because Microsoft won't stop attacking Codeberg. So Codeberg is down right now. Um, let's see here. So if I do a make clean... Linux, okay, just making sure that that was all in there. And do a, a make, look at that, got a blue window. And it is, it's here. I can hit the escape key and it goes away. So Wayland is now working. I finally got it with OpenGL. Um, I still got some more work to do with it, but it finally came up, it's finally working. Finally, okay. Uh, this was all of the, the stuff I had to just completely change around. Um, but I, I've got more work to do with it. So it's not done yet. Close that. Close. Um, and I, I, I can't give you more info than what I can right now because I can't even get the code uploaded right now. Um, I need to actually clean that out. So make clean Linux. There we go. Okay, and that should take care of all that, and it does. All right, so the uh, code is here. Now, here's the Linux. That's what you, I altered. Uh, now it's running Wayland. Uh, get rid of all this other stuff. Okay. Um, I had to add this and this. This is the, uh, way, the XDG Wayland protocols to get a Linux window running. And of course, you already know about Wayne Win 32, which, and then of course the platform. This was not an easy task, I'm telling you guys. Um, Linux is, yeah, something else. And what it is, is it's because it just doesn't have the support. See, Windows has a lot of companies backing it. Linux does not. It's, you know, when it comes to coding and getting things done, it's all done by volunteers. So this is why Linux is so horrible. <laughs> but, you know, I volunteered and finally got a working, you know, OpenGL context in Linux now. And so now both my Windows and Linux are in sync. They're both using the same colors. I can use the same size. Um, I still have to add the interface so that I can resize the window things like that, but yeah, I, I'm getting there. It, this Wayland's code is extremely frustrating. They did it in XML format. I'm a C++, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a C coder, not a C++. I'm a C coder, and XML for documentation is horrible. So it's one of the problems here. Um, I would show you more. I can't. I can't even get online so, uh, as far as Codeberg is concerned. So uh, I need you guys uh, to just hang out and I'll get the code uploaded as soon as I get access to Codeberg. And other than that, I hope you guys all have a good one. And um, oh, I might as well just show you the, uh, the Linux or the Windows thing real fast. Now, as far as I have been adding uh, other options in here. And but it still runs the same. You'll say same blue window and everything. Well, not in this case because I forgot I have to still upload it. Um, I believe I was actually using a one. Let's try it again.
There it is. Um, but yeah, so it should be a lot of this is the same. But what's not the same is I have been uh, updating this stuff here. Um, and eventually, yeah, hopefully <laughs> get this working for both, uh, yeah, for both sides. So it, it's kind of a pain right now. Um, I've had to change around a few things to get things working right. Um, I couldn't get the swap buffers to smoothly do its thing because, uh, it was inside this loop here when it shouldn't have been. So, yeah, um... Yeah, outside of that, pretty much everything else is still working. Um, the struct here is now working for both Linux and uh, Windows. So I'm using the same struct here. there. Um, I've had to change out a few things. I may have to move a few things around. But other than that, it's mostly working. So... Can't complain there too much. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, thanks for sticking around. I'll catch you later. And I don't know when I can get the next video out. So bear with me. And uh, as soon as, again, as soon as Codebird comes back up, I'll get the Linux source code uploaded. All right. You guys all have a good one. Cheers.